a two and a half mile chase is next. And at the top we've got Chopped All Nation for Alex Cherry, Publisher Rustlin, David Robertson, Lawstra Dancing, Derek Hinton, Drum Largan, and Highland Quest, Martin Leedham, Ortelia Amelia, Matt Cooper, Sierra Vista Fair, and Sierra Vista Savings, both of Vinnie Gerard, Domes of Panga, Darren Thompson, Tamora Eris for Derek Hinton, Radiant Heart, Leon Van Rensburg, Bonash, Matt Cooper, and Greg Clutterbox got the bottom pair, Escort Zafonk and Gold Tiara. They're away and racing. I've got a feeling Gold Tiara might have run in the first race, but surely not. Anyway, Ortelia Amelia is the first to show, and they get over the first of the 15. One or two, a little bit untidy, particularly Sierra Vista Savings at the back. But the other Sierra Vista is close up to the lead. We've lost one there, and it's Darren Thompson's Domes of Panga. So, Darren Thompson's problems with fallers, it looks like it's continuing. Tends to win or fall. And it's all Tia Amelia. That's a bit of a tongue twister where it shouldn't be, really. Because both words are easy to say, but saying the two together can be tricky. All Tia Amelia is in all Tia Amelia. We'll get it right eventually. Never mind. Still will be back soon. We'll be able to get some proper proper elocution into the races. Anyway, it's all Tia, all Tia Amelia in the lead. Let's hope that one doesn't make it into Matt's team. They get over the set the third. Uh, it leads by about three lengths. Lawstra Dancing is in second. Then Tamora Ares is next as they take the fourth, which is a ditch. And there's another one down there. And it's Drum Largan. So uh, Drum Largan's gone. So my plan of putting in horses from last season to see how much everybody else has improved has not worked because well, it's fallen. Anyway, they get over the next. And there's another one down there. And it's Radiant Heart. So the old Van Rinsburgs has gone now as well. So three out already and the three of the top five trainers I think from last season in the standings so passing the winning post then with a complete circuit to go Joshua Sutherland is missing and so too is David Hooley this week it would seem and no Jim Murray either so one or two of the big guns keeping their powder dry for the season not letting us see what they've got it's Altia Amelia who's in the lead from the Hinton pair second and third Tamora Ares and Lawstra Dancing then comes Highland Quest and Sierra Vista Savings after that one with Escort Zafonk on the inside of Gold Tiara then Bonash and Publisher Rustlin is just the back marker at this point and they're heading down towards the 7th of the 15th and Altia Amelia got over it nicely in the lead Leading by a good two to three lengths. We have lost to dancing in second. Highland Quest is in third. This court was a funk, has now dropped back to the back. As they head towards fence number nine. Which they all skip over nicely. Gold Tiara has moved through into second there. Ooh, what's going on here? All sorts of stuff popping up. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. It's absolutely nothing to do with me, so I can't do anything about it. It's uh, over fence number 10. We go. And... Oh, Tia Amelia is in the lead. There's had a line of about four of them then cheering second. And there's a fall on there. There's another one gone. It's Tamora Ares that's gone this time. So one of Derek Hinton's has gone. So quite a few fallers. Something we'd have expected to see. Tia Amelia is the leader, leading by two lengths to Publisher Rustlin in second, then Sierra Vista Fair is in third, Lawtra Dancing is on the inside, then Gold Tiara, Sierra Vista Savings is now coming through, and then Escort Zafonk, Bonash is next, Holland Quest has dropped right out of it, and uh, there's something wrong with that one as they get over the 12th, and they've just got three more to take then now. And Sierra Vista Savings is coming to challenge. Over the final ditch they go. Battling back on the inside, the old Tia Amelia. Between the two of them, Gold Tiara. These three have pulled clear of the rest. And as they come down towards the second last, and it's Sierra Vista Savings closest to us is in the lead. The grey Gold Tiara is next. Oh, what a bad mistake there by the long time leader, old Tia Amelia. She's now beaten. But it's Gold Tiara who's now gone on into the lead. Gold Tiara's in front over the final fence. Jumps it well. Sierra Vista Savings jumps it well in second. Now running off from the back, launched for dancing. 
He's coming through with a run. Sierra Vista Fair is also trying to run on, but there's half a furlong to go. And Goltiara is still in the lead, but they're closing with every straw, but she's just got a hold on nothing. Goltiara takes it from Sierra Vista Fair. Sierra Vista Savings in Walsh and Dancing Publisher Rutland finished well as well. Oh, we lost Holland Quest. That's my last as well, I think. And Gold Tiara, if that one did run in the first race, it's done remarkably well to win in the second. And Gold Tiara takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Sierra Vista Fair for Vinnie Gerard was second. Lord for Dancing for Derek Hinton was third. Sierra Vista Savings for Vinnie Gerard was fourth. And Publisher Rutland for David Robertson ran on to be fifth. <laughs>